More than nine years after the crash that took a young mother's life, the driver who was high on meth when he hit her is sentenced for manslaughter. Kayla Wilson of Gresham was just 19 years old and pregnant when Jack Whitaker slammed into her car near Powell Butte in 2010. You're watching Coin 6 News at 4. I'm Emily Burris. And I'm Jeff Giannola. And Kayla spent years in a near vegetative state and died from complications just last year. Amy Frazier, live outside the Multnomah County Courthouse with new information in this case. Amy? As you can imagine, it was a very emotional day in court today for the victim's family. They say they'd do anything to have her back again. Today, a Multnomah County judge sentenced 62-year-old Jack Whitaker to 16 years in prison for recklessly causing the death of Kayla Wilson. On April 15, 2010, he was high on meth when he lost control of his Jeep and smashed nearly head-on into Kayla's Buick as she drove home from a job interview. She suffered major brain injuries. Five months pregnant, she delivered her baby weeks later by emergency C-section, and the baby survived. Kayla lived the next eight years in what court documents describe as a chronic vegetative state. She couldn't speak and was largely unresponsive. She died from complications applications in March of 2018. Prior to her death, Whitaker was sentenced in 2012 to 11 years in prison for what was then DUII and assault in the case. Then in October, the court found him guilty of manslaughter. Today's sentence essentially adds five additional years to the 11 years he was already serving. So I asked myself, any amount of time that Jack Whitaker could serve cannot make it for the loss of my daughter. Absolutely not. She did serve her life sentence. He should have had to serve a life sentence. She didn't get a third chance on life. But she's gone forever, and there's nothing I can do to change that. He will get out and get to live a life again, and it's wrong and not fair. Whitaker chose not to speak during his sentencing today. He remained unemotional throughout the emotional testimony. The victim's nine-year-old daughter was also in the courtroom today. She told the judge one day she might like to be a doctor or a police officer. Reporting live in downtown Coin 6 News.